Hello, I hope all is well. So, if you like Magic at all, you're probably well aware by now that the Mage Arena 2 has come out recently. Now, there are probably quite a few guides out there already on doing Mage Arena 2, but I wanted to make one, a quick one, specifically for peers. Now, this could be applicable to any player, but I wanted to focus on how I went about getting the imbued God Cape with the restrictions on my account of being a one defense peer. Now, before you can even start Mage Arena 2, you'll need to do Mage Arena 1 and perform 100 casts in the Mage Arena with each of the three God Staffs. You'll get one for free for completing the mini quest, but the other two will cost you 80,000 coins each. Just be advised that the Mage Arena is a dangerous minigame located deep in the wilderness, and players like this silly man over here will dress like the Ceridoman Wizard and attempt to get you to skull on them. So. As a way to avoid that, just make sure you're checking your mini map for any white dots, and it might be a good idea just to attack exclusively the Zamorak and Guthix one to avoid accidentally scalling. Once you have completed 100 casts of each god spell within the Major Arena, you'll want to talk to Kaladian out here, and he'll give you an enchanted symbol. This is used for finding the demons within the Deep Wilderness, and it works the same way as the Strange Device does for Master Clue Scrolls. This is the setup that I use for fighting the demons. You want to use a combination between maximum possible mage bonus that you can afford, but also no more than you're willing to risk, as this will be taking place in Deep Wilderness in multi-combat, and the demons will teleblock you from time to time. As a one defense pure, I would strongly recommend Elder Chaos Druid Robe top and bottom, as well as the Occult Necklace and your God Staff as your protected items. It is important to note that each demon can only be killed with the matching God Spell, or with a twisted bow, and since most people probably can't afford a twisted bow, that means in order to kill the Ceridoman demon, you'll need Ceridoman Strike. To kill the Guthix demon, you'll need Claws of Guthix, and for the Zamorak demon, you'll need Flames of Zamorak. To get started, I recommend either using the Burning Amulet to teleport to the Lava Maze, or an Anacarl Teleport Tab to teleport to the Demonic Ruins. Once into the wilderness, Use the enchanted symbol to scan for the god that you are, or the demon that you are looking for. So right now I have the Ceridoman staff, so I need to find the Ceridoman demon. And it will tell you that the symbol is cold, warm, very warm, or burning hot. And then it will also tell you where it is relative to where it was last time. So here it says it's incredibly hot, means the demon's very close. So this is a map of all current known demon spawn locations. Now they are all in multi-combat and it's important to note that this may not be a comprehensive list. These are just all the reported locations to date. Now the fight with the demon is pretty straightforward and honestly I'm not sure if there's any way to lure them or safe spot them where you're not being damaged. But in this video I wanted to show you that even as a one defense peer, as long as you have protect from magic, you should be able to get through the fight fairly easily. Mage Arena 2 has a minimum magic level of 75, however I would strongly recommend a bare minimum of at least 76. That way with a magic potion you could boost your level to level 80 and use charge. This increases the base max hit damage of the god spells from 20 to 30 which can be extremely helpful during this fight. I also strongly recommend wearing a ring of recoil and actually probably bringing a second one. The amount of damage being done by one ring of recoil is I think worth more than having one extra food would be for the course of the fight. You do kind of have to be vigilant, just keep an eye out for PKers. Honestly, you're probably a sitting duck if a group comes because not only is this demon going to be hitting you, you are in multi-combat so you are vulnerable to one or more PKers. Even with Protect for Magic, these demons will max hit in the mid-20s, however without it, that hit increases to, I believe, 43, so I would have to look into the viability of doing this without protection prayers. I'm not sure at the moment what that is. Now this next part is pretty important because ultimately to get your imbued god cape, you need to bring all three demon hearts to Kaladian. However, they are not bankable. You could choose to hold on to all three of them while you're killing the demons and then take them all in at once, but I do not recommend that because if you do die, you will lose all of them and therefore all of your progress. You'll have to go re-kill the demons. So what I chose to do was dress as inconspicuously as possible, going with no armor on, just a full inventory of sharks, and my finger over the logout button and deposit them with Kaladi and he will hold on to them for you. 
So if you are a little bit lower level or just otherwise concerned about the damage inflict inflicted upon you by checking your uh, enchanted symbol in order to try to find the demons, and you don't want to waste the supplies on that, what you can do, and what, I've, what I did for one of the demons actually, was to just go out into the wilderness with no gear, just food and your enchanted symbol, and just run around until you find the demon. And actually, once you locate him, then you can go ahead and collect your gear and come back and fight him and not have to worry about finding him. However, just be advised that about every 20 or 30 minutes or so, I don't know the exact amount of time, but the demons will change locations. So as I finish these last two demon kills, you may notice that I'm a little bit low on supplies here at the end. And even though I have 97 magic at the moment, I do believe this is doable for a one defense pure that has at least 37 prayer and 80 magic or so. If you're having a little bit of trouble, you could try increasing your magic bonus. For me, I didn't even have boots. I was too lazy to go get ghostly boots. I could have worn better mage bonus gloves. I uh, could have had a book of darkness, which I don't have. I could have chosen to wear an Elder Chaos Druid hood instead of hat. Would have boosted my magic bonus by at least 10 or so. All right, once you have given all three of the demon hearts to Kaladian, go ahead and use the god cape that you want imbued on him. And here are its stats. So a pretty solid improvement over the regular god capes. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.